Episode 4, Sons of Winter. Ah, we're in Daenerys' camp. We're about to tell her about the dragon. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Are you call me a liar? Those who seek to waste my I'm time. not a liar. Are you calling me a liar? You know nothing about me. You're right. I don't know you. Oh, shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Yep, that's why we're frightened. Your reaction says otherwise. One run-in was enough for me, thanks. Clearly. Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Go we'll leave him be. We don't want to go uh, for provoking the dragon. I think I'd rather not. You're smarter than you seem. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. Then you were wise to keep your distance. You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. Malcolm I Scars. You, I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. My friend has the burns to prove it. It's likely to leave a scar. Your dragon did this, Your Grace. Well, he wouldn't. You must have tried to fight him. What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. <laughs> We're being chased child into him. can breathe fire on whoever he likes. Wasn't on purpose. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me? Vengeance? Asher Forrester. Vengeance. My little brother was murdered in front of his family and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your swords, Please, if I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have Could suffered we help for with the liberation? years without end. What if we left after the liberation, once the slaves are free? Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. It'd be helpful to have some there allies no there. After. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself... You have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. <laughs> That's but it! Your Grace! See them out. We'll handle Marine. I faced a dragon and lived. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you. 
You forget that is my dragon you boast of defeating. I said I survived, nothing more. And Pesca here, she has a history in Marie. She could help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. Well, I can only speak for myself, Asher, obviously. Please. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger... I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. That could have gone much worse. All things considered. The fuck happened back there? Are we really going into Marine? Um, yeah, what's up with you and Marine? What's the problem with you and Marine anyway? Doesn't matter now, does it? Beska. Get your armor patch up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking big. If she just tell us what's going on, this would all be Long much easier. A piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asha. Nail! We got two more! Back to full strength, but it's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You got the best of Griff last time. When he comes looking for revenge, do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It sounds like you prefer Roderick stay down in the mud. Well, I can't no. beat him. But Griff will see but that you pay for what you we'll need to practice be as best as we can. You can't just fight through the pain. Sure you, you can. You need to try something different. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Okay. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Oh, Roderick. that didn't work. Let's try that again. Let's try it again. <laughs> you do it. Fantastic. My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Mm. Talia. Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. 
You remember my little brother? Quiver? Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. Of course not. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. You're always welcome here. We're to be married. You'll be calling I and Rath home soon. Yes, well, um... That's why I came, actually. Oh. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. The arrogant pig We can stop Rick. this. Lena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. I agree. Lord he Whitehill's needs to made up be his taken mind, down. And so have I. It's time someone brought Griff down. We were hoping you'd say that. Subtly, if possible. Hmm. You know, or a whole load of archers. You brought your men. I command father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. Well, you they have Rion. Have any reason to but keep him around? This could help both of us. We need to uh, do Please this. Please consider it. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. If we get control of the hall, Please then we got control of the ironwood. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. We'll do this. I don't want any of this. I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. That'd be great. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. Obviously, we're going to kiss her. Another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For I all of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention wouldn't put it Cersei past her. and Jamie. Hmm. Oh, shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. Well, we've still got our Order of Ironwood. Now all we need to do is find someone to fulfill it. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud 
Lord Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't we'll know praise what. Him. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. Hmm. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? I don't think we're going to do that. We're just going to be a bit quiet. Not let too much on. Well, whatever you decide, do it soon. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. 